Developments tonight. Hundreds of protesters have stormed a local government building in the city of Donetsk this afternoon as the East takes a stand against what people there call the rise of neo-Nazis in Kiev. Artis Maria Fenoshina reports. In the city of Donetsk, known as the industrial capital of the region, we saw a group of protesters who claimed they did not recognize the country's new authorities and they refused to consider them as legal and legitimate power of the country. Occupying the regional government building, they put the Russian flag on top of it, asking for their right for self-determination to be implemented and for a federal system to be introduced in Ukraine. This vast and strategically very important Ukrainian region was the first to follow Crimea to ask for a referendum to decide the future to be held in the uh, region. In another city of Lugansk, we saw a similar picture. A group of protesters made their way into national security office, again asking for a referendum, but also asking to release protesters who were detained there uh, by police still loyal to Kiev before. Uh, and actually, uh, this is what we see all over the eastern and some of uh, southern regions of Ukraine since the events in Kiev started. But this is just one of the reasons behind, behind these demonstrations. Another reason is uh, Western countries' policies and reactions towards the Ukrainian crisis. Earlier, we saw another group of demonstrators gathering uh, next to the German consulate, again in the city of Donetsk, asking for this powerful European country to stop supporting the authorities in Kiev and in such a way as the protesters pointed that out, uh, encouraged the spreading of fascism in uh, um, the region. So we've seen these demonstrations and these protests uh, all over uh, these uh, eastern and southern regions of Ukraine since uh, the ousted of uh, uh, President uh, 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 Yanukovych in Kiev, and apparently we're going to see more and more of this to happen in the nearest future. Maria Fenoshin there a bit earlier on in Simferopol. Well, the protest movements have been strong across Ukraine's southeast, a region that's heavily populated by ethnic Russians. And they've been publicly gathering in their thousands, in fact, for months now. Sunday's largest rallies were in the cities of Donetsk and Kharkov coming onto the map there now, both of which are major industrial hubs. But they're not the only places to have seen vast demonstrations demanding a right to self-determination. Crowds have also gathered in Lugansk and Dnepropetrovsk as well. Well, we'll, of course, be following developments in Ukraine and we'll bring you the latest updates naturally here on RT International.